years I worked with Gerda Boyers and I often saw that she would be working with them, um, the what she called the hills and valleys of the uh, head of a person. And she spoke often, as Wilhelm Wright did, about the uh, two poles in the body, the heaven pole, which is the skull, and the earth pole, which is the pelvis. But we in biodynamic work don't just work with the biodynamic is the movement of life energy. We also are very much concerned and interested in the circulation of fluids in the body. And you can imagine our delight when uh, something we've worked with for many years called the hills and valleys and what we call the deep draining or emptying that could happen uh, in the head and in the body was actually discovered, it was discovered that the brain has a draining system, brain draining system, which is known as the glymphatic system, and that by working to uh, empty the pockets of fluid and nervous fluid in the neural pathways and so on, and in the uh, vessels and nodes of the glymphatic system, that we actually can help the brain to drain from the uh, fog and um, dreariness in a way of our everyday events that happen and build up and clog our thinking uh, and let the brain be bathed and washed through on a daily and nightly basis when we're sleeping uh, with the cerebrospinal fluid. So methods, the biodynamic massage methods can be applied not only on the whole person but specifically on the head and to help with migraine or to help with uh, the things that we face every day that are tiring or to face life all the things we hear and that we don't want to hear anymore and working to clear the biofield and to work to empty the uh, nervous fluid which kind of threatens to clog us so all of these are some of the methods of biodynamic psychology which are applied through the medium of biodynamic massage and emptying and deep draining. Wonderful work. Thank you.